Roxanne from Romania with us. Hello, Roxanne. How are you? How are you doing? Hi. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine as well. Uh, like, uh, how are you doing? How are your life is going on? What do you do right now? I'm really good working, working a lot, but I love it. And I can't wait to, actually, I can't wait for your vision to be on oh, stage. Yes. yes, I'm thinking about it a lot. Okay, then I will move to my first question. And let's talk about like your, your road to Eurovision. How did you decide to go to, to, the, to this competition? Uh, it was a selection, an internal selection last year. And uh, I was I I was chosen by like uh, professional people, and uh, of course I was really happy because it's something that I've been dreaming about my whole life. It was a very big opportunity. It still is, um, and uh, yeah, it wasn't like my choice it was my my I, I deserve it i don't know because i was in competition with uh, two other colleagues of mine and uh, they chose me oh i got it so uh, as i understand you were following the contest before your uh, participation as well right yes i watched it i I was a big fan. I'm a big fan of Eurovision. My mom was the biggest fan and every single year it was a tradition like Eurovision and we sat in like in family and watch it and everything. It was really yeah. great. That's really cool when some Eurovision fans are coming to the contest. Yeah. So uh, I'll move to my next question, and uh, I want to ask, like, you are taking part at Eurovision for the second uh, time in a row, like, this is the second year. How did your life was changed uh, after your uh, participation, like, after you joined this competition? Yeah, it, it was strange. It was strange because it was not, I don't know, it was cancelled. And I didn't know at first if I'm going to represent Romania next year again. And I was a bit sad. But after, after I found out that I'm going to be, again, the representative, representative of Romania, uh, I was really, really happy. And I started to work a lot because it was just, I don't know, I had nothing to do because it was like the, this pandemic and everything and I just I I sat home or in the studio and thinking working a lot for next for this year and um, I think that my life begins just now yeah. oh my god <laughs> so okay, um, I want to uh, ask you my next question. It's about the cancellation of Eurovision 2020. Like, what did you feel at the moment that you un understood that you are not going to the competition uh, that year, that it is cancelled, and everything that you did before, like, it's nothing for for that moment. Yeah, as I said, I was a bit sad because I don't know. I was thinking if I would still represent Romania at Eurovision 2021, but I found out uh, the decision after the moment and I was really happy because, I don't know, this was the, the I don't know, it was, it was strange because I really wanted us to be safe and everything, but I know how much I've been working, me and my team, we we worked so hard for the show um and everything was over but it was not really really over because we have the chance this year so right now i'm happy but last year i was a bit confused uh, and really i don't know it was strange yes i get you
So, okay, let's move to this year, uh, to Amnesia. Like, I want to ask how this song was created. Like, when did you start to work on that and how all that process uh, was going? Yeah, Amnesia. Amnesia Amnesia was born from lots of thoughts and things. Iraida, Iraida is the, the girl who helped me uh, write the song. Um, she, she's a Capricorn, like, as me, and we had a very, a very, like, a big connection, and it was very easy for us to work together, um, and I wanted to, to say something, I wanted to, to, to say something for the world, like, something that matters, not something about me, or something about... I don't know a single like situation it's I just wanted like the people to know that I'm here for them and I don't know if they don't have someone to <laughs> talk about I'm here <laughs> okay um as I, as I know you had uh, not only amnesia for this year but you had another options as well yeah. So when when you like uh, presented all these songs that you were uh, working on to the juries, uh, were you expecting that Amnesia is going to win this selection and you are going to win with, with this song, or you had some other favorite songs from from your this year's selection? Actually, to be honest, this year selection was very close to me. Each song, it's. I don't know, it's so beautiful and if if it was like not amnesia, each of them like are really strong songs and uh, represent me in some kind of way and I can't wait to like to have the chance to show the people the rest of the songs. But now it's about amnesia and I'm really, I'm really happy because actually amnesia was my first choice. When I first, first heard it, I was like, oh my God, I can see the whole concept. Like I, I saw like a movie in my head with me and dancing and uh, dancers and everything. And my team, like, bring it alive and it's so yes. yeah. okay so i want to to ask you uh other question so let's suppose that uh, let's think let's imagine that uh your uh previous entry alcohol you is also were, uh, also were taking part in this year's selection like you had the choice between amnesia and you had the choice be uh, between amnesia and alcohol you which of these songs would you prefer to go with? I don't know. Amnesia is a special song which connects me like to the present day. Last year was a bit of a roller coaster for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Filled with both ama amazing like and sad moments. Uh, uh, Amnesia somehow managed to give a voice to my repressed feelings and to all the people whose, I don't know, voices haven't been heard. Both Amnesia and Alcohol You are very powerful uh -huh. songs and I love each of them very much. But I don't know, it's really hard to choose because it, they are not that different. Yes, right. But I love them. Feel, I'm feeling more connected to Amnesia. And yeah. I think it's a good thing. Definitely. So I can say that uh, we like both of them as well. So like, you're amazing. Your songs are amazing. <laughs> and um, I want to, to, to move to my next question. And unfortunately, uh, this year, uh, Amnesia was leaked a day before uh, the official uh, release date. Like, what did you feel when you realized that your song was leaked? I was sad, I admit it, but you know, when people are curious, they do like crazy things and I had nothing to do about it. Like it was, uh, actually I was thinking 
oh, okay, so they really like the people really want want to hear my song and they are curious about it and if they choose to do this thing it was not good for me but i can understand i can understand and i don't know it was just one day it was one day if it was like for one week like for a week or a month or something it yeah uh that were like that was something else, but it was it was just one day, and I cried for a bit. But after everything was normal again. Oh yeah, like everyone really was so curious about your song. Like you are the one of the favorites this year, so everyone was expecting your song. So yes, um, okay. I want to ask. Uh, another question. Uh, generally, in, like in your general life, your songs um, are a bit different from the ones that you are going to Eurovision with. Like they're more energetic, maybe. So why this happens? Do you do you think that there is a certain Eurovision format for the songs, or or, or what? No, it's just uh, the the fact that Eurovision it's a it's a very big contest, and it's like the whole world sees me and i can i can use this this opportunity to to bring something more powerful and i think that i don't know your vision and uh, like i i really wanted to express myself i want yes. to express myself and it helps me and yes. I'm really happy because I don't know love songs. We can hear love songs every day, and I don't know. I just wanted to say something bigger. Yes, you are definitely right. Uh, uh, as for me, I can say that I really like when the songs are uh, have some deep meaning in in, in themselves. So, like, I was happy to hear that from you, and like when I was listening to lyrics, I was like. Oh yeah, I understand. I I was like diving into the, those those words. So uh, I want to ask you about the main message that you want to bring bring to us uh, through amnesia. Like, can you describe it more detailed? I don't know. It's just like as the last sentence for every for uh, every shout that went unheard. It's just the. To be brave enough to say that you are not good, you need help, or I don't know. I lived a big part of my life wondering, I'm enough, I'm doing this good. And I don't know, it was just thoughts of mine, but never, I, I never expressed it. And, um, I don't want like nobody to to feel the same as I did, and I I don't know. I was just there with my soul for the people. Okay, I got it. Uh, okay, I want to ask you about the staging of your song. Is it already ready? And have you already recorded your backup performance? Because this year all the participants have to do that. Have you already did that? Done that? What I can say it is that it's gonna be like a bit similar to the music video, but it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be a very, a very powerful moment. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. And um, yeah, I, I really hope that everything is gonna be perfect because right now I can't have, like, I don't have a, an image. About, oh, yeah. but yeah. I know what we are going to do, more or less. And I'm sure that it would be crazy and amazing, <laughs> as always. And uh, have you already recorded your backup performance or, or not yet? And not yet, not yet. Not yet. And is it going to be the same with the one that you are going to perform in Rotterdam in case you will be able to go there or there will they will be different? I don't know. I think uh, that this is the point of the backup performance, like to be as close as we can to the final show. 
because if something happens that uh, video is going to be like uh, uh, used yes it's going to yeah. be used and uh, this is a uh, this is very like i'm nervous about it but it's not impossible like we are working like me and my team and everything is gonna be fine oh yes um okay i want to 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 ask uh my next question and uh like your music style is uh a bit different from the music styles of other uh, uh, representatives this year and sometimes we can see that people are comparing you with billy eilish uh, I, I don't know if you if you heard yeah. that, but what do you think about this? Were you really inspired by her or 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 what? I don't know. It's it's an honor to be compared with her because she's a really great artist, you know. But I I don't really see like the scene. like we are like maybe we look alike, but my songs and her songs or my outfits or my way of like being it's different like i never saw her like wearing small clothes or something like she's really into her like in what yeah. she's doing but i don't know we have this this thing with our faces that, that we like maybe we look alike and it's not my fault like just talk to god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I totally understand you. So, and I will. I want to ask you about your, uh, like, your look. Like, you are really very different from the others. Your looks are uh, all the time are something unique and something very interesting. How how do you manage to to bring something like that uh, to us? I don't know. I'm just being myself. I have days when I'm like on point and my makeup my hair everything and days where i'm human and i really think that it's important to show this part of me to the whole, to the world because i don't want like little girls to to see me and think i i want to be like her but i can't like i i I give them like the possibility to accept themselves as they are oh. like if you if today you are feeling like flawless and everything you go for it but if you are feeling down or sad you don't have like you just respect yourself and give your heart what you want you know maybe some days you have more important things to do than put makeup on or nice clothes and that's so cute that you are thinking about your fans that's yeah. really so cute yeah. okay uh have you have you already listened to other songs from this year competition of course i did i really love italia songs italia. Oh, yeah. it's really good i love bulgaria victoria it's amazing um even moldova Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. and have fun, you... Like, you know, like when you are here, you can, you know that everyone puts so much effort in everything and they, they give all their best. And I can't like me, I, I, I can't say this is my favorite or this is my favorite because I know the amount of work oh, behind definitely. Thing. and each of them are my favorites actually oh that's so cute okay and did you have uh, did you have an opportunity to to chat with other artists or to see each other in in, in, in real life not yet not yet okay. but i can't wait i can't wait to to have the chance actually on in rotterdam i'm gonna meet everyone and oh, i'm so excited probably. We are so excited to see you all together as well. Yeah. So, Roxanne, I think that I've finished all my questions. And I want to ask you now, do you have anything to say to your fans here? Because you have a really huge fan base here. People are liking you. 
I want to say just take care of yourself and believe in yourself. This is the most important thing. Believe, trust yourself. Oh, that's cute. So, Rakhna, thank you for this uh, gorgeous interview to this conversation. I'm very grateful for that. And I hope to see you in Rotterdam performing on that stage and everything is going to be really fine. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.